back to Dave and Audrey Does Outdoors It's been raining most of last night, we're not going to get a camp this weekend But we're doing a wee long dog walk And so behind me is West Lomond in Fife And I pitched on, there's a kind of rocky bit in the middle and there's a little flat ledge beneath that I pitched on that one night um, I think it was in my Vango, so check that previous video out um, there's a there's a little uh, kind of what would you describe it little um, bit of water down there a little sort of I can't remember what they're called they're not lochs they're too small a little kind of um, anyway it'll come to me I'm having a brain fart so we're just out we're going to do a a decent walk, we might try and walk right along the side of that hill to a place called John John Knox Pulpit which we've never been to so we're really just kind of trying to find out little potential camping spots a few little midges out, so we'll keep moving just now um, and we're going to get a little burger, we've got a frying pan, gas she's got some nice lunch just out for a, a decent stroll, get a few miles done and uh, stretch the legs since we're not getting a wee overnight this weekend, so we need to get something done, so Thanks again for tuning in, remember if you enjoy it, give me a wee thumbs up Subscribe if you've not already And stay tuned There's a lot of sheep and the lambs are are getting a bit older. Audrey's okay. I might pick her up although she's getting soaking and a bit dirty. So um because we'd I'd thought about trying to walk along the side of the little reservoir. I remembered the name, the reservoirs. You've got this one down here as well, a little island in it. Um a couple of mountain bikers away across it, you'll pick that up across the other side. Um, I think that's probably what we'll do, we'll just get across this style. I've got a map, I've checked it, you can, there's diff different little routes but I wasn't expecting quite this, this sort of density of lambs. So we're doing well. Um, she's a little bit wet on her tummy, but not too bad. Um, we've been coming through quite a lot of grass. We've walked along here from the reservoirs. Um, and we're going to try and explore a little bit this wood when we come back. Although the wind for it's been windy for days up here, it's just dropped today, so all of a sudden quite a lot of annoying midgy type things, so just need to see how we got on. Uh, beautiful walk though, I've cut, I've been along here years and years ago, um, and this little stone here, three ancient parishes come together at this point, Strathmiglo, Falkland and Port Mock. Um, they've obviously been developing some of the the path systems because we're about to go, I've never been on this path and I think this takes us to John Knox Pulpit and I think there's a bit of a waterfall I've got my drone so if it if it stays dry we might be able to get a bit of drone down there or across the water or something just trying to get a bit of use out of it I've been enjoying it, I've been flying it in the park with her a couple of times this week so just getting a bit more confidence but like everything it takes takes a bit of time um, but I can do a wee bit of a review on that it's the, the DJI Mavic, it's the first one, it's not the second one they upgraded it, um, but so far you know, it'll definitely be something that I'll get a lot of use out of but I need to be in the right headspace for it um, and just with the, the kind of level of my work and my old man, he's, he's struggling, he's not not very well, yesterday had a really bad day so I'm not too sure what's going on um, with him, my sister Jill was in, so watch this space, he's tired to be honest with you, I think he's had enough, so just need to wait and see a dementia is like it's fucking horrible 
hate to say it, but I think he it's his time and he need, needs to go and meet my mum again. It's been a cruel few years. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep much, that's it. This is why we're spending time outside and getting some space, breathing the air. What a beautiful, absolutely tranquil spot, which I've never been to. John Knox's pulpit. I think we can meander down this path and I think it... I don't know, I don't know where it goes, um, but we can try and, and there's a wee cut down, we'll get down, but sandstone you can see, apparently John Knox who, kind of early 1500s, he was like a, a royal um, Scottish minister that led a massive kind of reformation, um, so he was a really big religious leader and he was based up in St Andrews and I think he kind of was also basing himself in Edinburgh so probably between St Andrews and Edinburgh this would be the way that you'd go to cut across the Firth of Forth so he would stop here and organise organise big sorry she keeps banging the, the lead um, organise big sermons and you could imagine if you were sort of like in this kind of sort of position or do you here um you would be speaking to you know you could actually it's like an amphitheater actually you could probably get like two or three hundred people so this is what this is what you used to do in this spot so it's really kind of religiously significant of it absolutely amazing This is the pulpit. So you'd stand up here. Audrey, come here. Just take my rucksack off so I can crouch down. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, he could have stood here. And I guess maybe amplified his voice down that bit. Beautiful. Wow. That is something else. I'm going, to, I'm going to dig out the drone and give it a wee little buzz about. That's absolutely stunning. I didn't realise it was in such a nice little sheltered bit. I think it'll get busy in the summer. But uh, what a spot. Place to myself just now. I think people will come, so I'll probably try and move perch up here and fly the drone a little bit. Little seats like this. Beautiful foxglove there, look. So I'm going to dig out the drone, give it a wee buzz about it. The midges are a wee bit thick, so. Sheltered. 
you know, again, you can see the whole probably candles, you know, a natural little amphitheater, a few little birds floating about, which are kind of flatter about down there. I mean, you could pitch a tent down there in the winter, and that's deep enough for a wee paddle. I didn't bring my swim shorts, look at the swallows. That's the midges out big style. Really sheltered here, but what a spot. Thank you for sharing that with me today. Never been up here before, so really nice to experience something new. Got a wee bit of drone, I think it's okay, I'm not sure. I'm going to get up the hill a wee bit and get into some wind, because we're getting chewed to bits here. Cro Christ's cross, look. Special place. A very holy place. Significantly spiritual. It's nice to get a little bit of a breeze coming up from across this side. A couple of nice little flat bits up there, but a lot of sheep around, so even coming up here a lot of sheep. So camping's never never the best. So east East Lomond. Two or three little reservoirs, a couple of little boats out fishing. I thought that was a dead sheep, but it's, it's like a whole, a whole fleece that's just come off. Cool. So we're getting a, a view. This is a uh, Loch Leven across this way, and there's a wee castle. I'll look it up. Mary Queen of Scots was imprisoned on that wee. There's a tiny wee island. There's a castle on that. It used to be like a sort of prison. And, uh, but yeah, get a nice view. You can see the the clouds. I think we're going to follow this path. As we get a bit of height, we'll see around. I don't want to go too far. I'm getting hungry, so it's going to be lunchtime soon. But how beautiful is that? So we're actually sort of cloud, getting almost kind of cloud height. So uh, I think it should blow. Obviously, the the cloud just comes up the the crag. They do a lot of um, paragliding and stuff around here. I used to, I used to um, do counselling for a few years, and I had a, a supervisor who lived in a house down here, and they had built this house and it had big panoramic windows over Loch Leven. It was like I don't know if she's still alive. She was old, and that was like how many years ago? I doubt about. I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years ago. She was an absolute angel of a lady. Um, my mum had a stroke when I was getting support from her and she really saw me through some tough times. Um, as well as that, just doing the work, you had to get supervision. So beautiful, beautiful place. Stop quickly to show you this dry stained dike. Um, top of the hill, look at the size of that, that's up to my waist. There's one, there's two, there's a couple big ones along there, three, four. I mean, two or three strong people lifting some of the meat. Look, look at even bigger ones. Look, oof, little, uh, little lung buster up that last bit, little cairn. Stone cairn at the top, some sort of satellite y, wireless -y thing, top of the woods there. We're going to sort of start cutting down this way. Um, we're parked over those little reservoirs over there. So we've just down to the John Knox fuel pit, past West Lomond, up this side. Really nice little circular, probably, I don't know. Five or six miles. Nice little quiet spot. The cloud seems to be lifting. I'm getting hungry. She's getting hungry. She needs a wee um, pit stop with some food, don't you? Mm. Okay. We're using the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 as per. Check out some of my other videos guys, I'll just adjust that camera, you're probably pointing a bit low. 
I'm telling you, it's almost time for me to get a better camera that with a screen that I can actually frame what I'm doing because I used the old GoPro. I'm not going to bother using the legs because that's... Mm, it's not particularly flat actually, well. So these are the... You get little cheap ones, I got this second hand, this is an MSR um, leg stand, pot stand so it'll just add a bit of stability, let's see that's a bit of, right there, perfect okay, we're just having a burger got a roll, I've forgotten my that, that's a few midges out already it's not so bad when the breeze is here, but when the breeze just dips it's um so I've managed to forget my knife Turn it down a little bit It's burning off a bit madly Is it? There's nothing much to chop up other than an onion wonder if that Turn that gas down a little bit, it can get a bit fierce. Um, get that little fly off. Look at that. Um, I've forgotten my my knife, so instead of chopped tomato, and let's see what we can do with this onion. I think I'm going to definitely get a small knife and put it in my my little um, blue let's see, break some of that onion up it's definitely nice and cooked you don't need to bring any fat or anything just like I'll just pop that there just now I think on that side flip that over like so okay now you're talking now you're talking. Perfect. That breeze is picking up, which is nice. Cheers, everyone. She's fine, keep it wet. Mm. Fresh oranges. Nice little fresh burger. The usual. Rude not to share that. Mm. That was really nice, quite quick because we are getting a wee bit mauled by the midges. Um, I'm not too bad, they, they bite me, but I don't, it's not too bad. To, let's not speak too soon. I've got some water on, I'm just going to brew a quick coffee. Um, it's never boiling, boiling, so I can down that quite quickly and we're going to just skirt down this wall um, head towards that little reservoir and then we're up over the back these are the woods there that I was interested in actually going on the side of the water but they're, they're man-made, they're kind of these kind of sort of, you know, pine dense, you know, you can barely, there'll be a little wind, there's fire breaks but you know, you can't really even move through them so they're pretty pretty hopeless in terms of kind of exploring or even hammocking probably so but we're gonna we'll, we'll check it out we'll go down there so just a wee quick one today a little circular you know get some fresh air get some exercise with Audrey she's enjoyed herself she's a nice big lunch and some drink there um, but again plenty of rivers up here so she's never sort of far away from water which is great Good. It's nice luxury. I'm not going to dilly dally because I can feel them on my face and my neck. The midges. Ugh. He 
sweet caramel log, which is nice. There we go, that's a nice coffee lick. I'll show you in a sec. Fresh. Nice. Nice. Not seen a soul. Put a couple of dog walkers down at the John the pool pit place, but right. I'm just going to sit in the wall, try not to get too eaten up, and pack up a wee bit and get you back in order to the midges are out in force now. That was that was pretty quick, um, which was fine. Had a nice bit. Of, I managed to. I flew the drone again. I'm get, getting quite good. You need to use the, your mobile phone. Um, so you need to wire your phone and um, connect up to the drone so it's a wee bit of kind of mucking about but we're kind of getting the hang of it and I'm trying to kind of pull it out, get it into the air, pilot it um, when I can just to kind of get a bit of confidence up. is a nightmare to walk in, it's soaking wet, hence my, my gaiters and boots, but it's really lumpy, so it's a real ankle breaker, there's big sort of lumps and tufts and we're trying to, <laughs> grouse, in some respects quite nice some of them are quite nice looking fir trees but really just good for cutting down and using as wood because there's nothing native probably in there so it's you, know, you can't it's, it's dark that's been really nice so we've kind of we've done a we started over here walked right along this way right along the side of that across the jocks pool pit up the hill behind there down through a nightmare, boggy, st steep stump, sort of stumbly bit, right along here, and we're going to go right across the the reservoir bit, which is cool, and hopefully join the path up there. That was nice stop to a little bit of drone. A um, couple of spots of rain, I'm a bit anxious about getting the drone wet, but just walking across this reservoir kind of bit. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm not sure about putting a kayak in there or. I'm sure somebody would moan about it. <laughs> but a couple of little sort of grassy spots on the side. You get a wee bit of a breeze, so I've seen a few people, don't know. I'm always keeping my eyes open for a couple little spots. Right, we're going to crack on up and over. We've got about a mile to the car, so we're rounding up today's video. Hope everyone's enjoyed that. Not quite signing out yet, um, but what a lovely part of the country. You've got this other reservoir, there's about four or five little boats out fishing here. 
and you've got a network of paths, I'm not sure where that goes, so yeah, nice to explore somewhere different. My brother Gordon's been in to see my dad today in the nursing home, so he seems to be a little bit brighter yesterday as he wasn't really kind of rousable, so today Gordon said that he was a, a bit more sort of, you know, back back and sort of a bit more communicative and stuff, so so yeah, we'll just need to see what the next few days, next few weeks bring. Bless, bless them. Right guys, that's us signing out. That was really nice, enjoyed that. Wee bit of everything, a bit of a, a climb up onto the top of the hill behind me, across there, then along the, along the ridge, down the hill, around that reservoir, across that bit, and back. So we've got a wee bit to go, but I'm going to sign out and just get the, put the camera away. She's enjoyed it, although she's been soaking wet. She's not been in swimming. That's her through the long grass. I had to pick her up a couple of times. And you're always super para about the, the ticks. That's why I wear my, my gaiters and my long trousers and stuff. And just need to be super vigilant. We've had one one couple couple each so far, so we need to um, minimise that to, to the most we can. So listen, thanks again for joining me and Audrey. Hope you've enjoyed today. Um, John Knox Pulpit was really, really special. Um, I'd never been there before. So, thanks again. Remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you've not, and till the next time.